A couple of things have occurred to me today. The first was what happened yesterday. Uh, sec secondly, uh, what happened to me yesterday. I walked into a shopping centre, my local shopping centre, which is frequented by all manner of people, uh, people from all over the world, you might say, because it's in a part of South East London, uh, which is pretty populous. Uh, it's pretty well acquainted with all sorts of people, from yuppies who go and work in Canary Wharf in the financial district, to people who have just recently come to live here from another country. Uh, there's all kinds of, you know, cool shops there. There's all kinds of interesting things to do. I walked into this shopping centre yesterday to be greeted with a scene that I'm sure many of you see on a daily basis and it was a fight basically. It was about three o'clock in the afternoon and there were three security guards attempting to basically arrest and detain a young man um, who was very quick, uh, who was very supple um, and who was very dangerous by the looks of him. Um, he looked as though uh, he may have come here recently from another land as well. I don't know. It's very difficult to tell. But there was a fight going on, basically. They were trying to stop him from running out of the door, the revolving door, with a load of stuff holding, uh, he was holding in his arms. He seems to have gone into the local supermarket, which is one of those uh, big Tesco's, effectively, um, and basically just run out with stuff. Now, I wasn't expecting to see what I saw, because what I didn't know was that security guards are now actually sometimes taking it upon themselves to do things about people doing shoplifting because what we've heard over the course of the last few weeks is that if you work in a shop it's actually becoming quite dangerous now and you don't want to stop the shoplifters because you never know what they're going to do. Well this guy was punching his way, kicking his way out of their grasp, he was trying to get away from them, they were trying to hold on to him. At one point he did escape their grasp and he still had stuff that he was carrying. One of them managed to trip him up and he fell straight down on, his, on the floor. There were people standing all around, including mothers with children who had just come out of school. People were filming it. People were standing sort of aghast with their mouths open. I sort of walked past this scene um, as I was literally walking in to put some shirts in the dry cleaners. Um, and I didn't really want to just stand and stare, but eventually I got past the, what was going on turned around and watched as the uh, the three security guards, who were obviously pretty handy themselves with their fists, were, were punching this guy, kicking him, uh, trying to get the stuff off him. Eventually they did get all the stuff off him and he ran away. Basically there was no sign of the police. They kind of looked reasonably happy with their work for the day. There was a couple of other guys standing around in you know security uniforms as well. And they took the stuff back inside to the shop where he had stolen it from. And uh, clearly, it, it all happened quite quickly. But I want to hear from you today as to what you're seeing out there in terms of what we call lawless Britain, because you're probably seeing something similar to me every single day. We've said before, Britain's streets have become very much more dangerous than they used to be. You know, we now know that people are shoplifting at a rate of knots the way that they never used to. Um, so I want to hear what, you, what you're seeing out there. 0344 499 1000. You can text us as well uh, to 87222 uh, and just put the word talk at the front of it. And, and you can also at us uh, on Twitter or X, whatever you wish to call it, at Talk TV and at IROMG. The bottom line for me, though, um, is that not only did I witness this particular incident yesterday, but also yesterday, while this show was on, we broke the news to you, I think it was in the last hour, that a 16-year-old kid had been stabbed to death uh, outside of a house in North London in a place called Edmonton, not a million miles away from where I was raised in North London. And it marked the 17th teenage death by stabbing in this capital city just since the beginning of the year. 17 teenagers lying dead in a mortuary, in a morgue, with parents grieving because they've been stabbed to death by someone with a knife. Now, you can say whatever you want about uh, the, the stabbing deaths of people in every other part of the world. We're always banging on about gun deaths in America and how isn't it incredible that nobody does anything about it. Well, how can we have 17 teenagers lying dead in this country because they've been stabbed in the capital city, one of the richest cities in the world? What is going on? And even more surprisingly is that in all of the papers this morning I've looked at, I can't find a word about it. I know that people got very worked up last week about the death of the young girl um, in Croydon who was only 15 and was stabbed to death as she was on her way to school because that was particularly horrendous, particularly awful. But was it more awful? Was it more awful than something else that's been going on? Is it more awful, um, basically, than what happened last week? Uh, is it more awful than what happened this week? Why is it that one story gets an awful lot of attention and another one doesn't? 